Well, in the 300th year since Wren completed the building, uh, it, it actually went on being completed for a little bit longer than that, but effectively it's, it's 300 years old. The cathedral was really dowdy. It was, it was really quite dirty, both on the outside, at, but also on the inside, and very kind of unkempt. The process of cleaning the interior of the building was, was a very complicated one. Um, you, we had to keep the building open all the time. It's continued to be in use and visited throughout the entire project. Uh, so we had to have a process that uh, was building friendly, if you like, that we didn't make too much noise, didn't take too much, make too much dust, it didn't spray the place with water, uh, those kind of things. Uh, we actually used a, a technique which was specially developed uh, for the, for the, the cathedral, uh, which involved spraying a, a latex poultice onto the stonework at night, uh, and then in the daytime that could be carefully peeled off uh, effectively taking the, the dirt with it. And it proved to be an extraordinarily effective and, and suitable process for the cathedral. My challenge, if you like, has been to try and make it glorious again, because it is a glorious building, uh, but also to make it so that it can be as usable as possible. What I love about it is the way music sounds in there, fantastic acoustic and just the whole ambience of the place. So it was a huge thrill for me to know that my piece was going to be performed in that building. It's, it's been around for 300 years now. It survived the London bombings. It's the most iconic building in London. Where else could you want to hold a concert? 